Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a triple piston extender in 1.16.5. So before I show you how to make the three different types of triple piston extenders, I'm going to show you something really cool. So watch this. Look at this. A hidden bunker. And watch this. You can go in here, get all your stuff, close the chest, just wait for a second, and once these sticky pistons are down level with uh, this block right here, this is concrete, once it's level with that, then you open and close it really fast, like that, and then it will go up, bring back the block down, and now you can go back up by going over here, opening and closing it really fast like this, running over here, and then you're out. Look at that. So now I'm going to show you all the different types of triple piston extenders. So the first type is the upwards facing triple piston extender. So if I press this button, it's going to extend this block three blocks up. It used to be here, now it's up there. And now if I press this button again, it's going to retract the block all the way down. So now to the sideways facing triple piston extender. So if I press this button, it pushes the iron blocks all the way here, which is a three block uh, moving area. This is a two wide area gap though. But as you can see, it's really one, two, three blocks across, not two. So now if I press the button again, it retracts the block all the way to its starting position, which is here. So now, the downwards facing triple piston extender. So, the way that this one works is, I mean, press the button again, brings it all the way down. And when I press the button again, it retracts it all the way back up. So now I'm going to show you how to build all these different types of triple piston extenders. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to build the upwards facing triple piston extender. So we're going to go over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your building block right here. It has to be a solid block. It can't be a transparent block like glass. And then we're going to add a redstone repeater right here. An observer facing into the repeater. And then we're going to do a redstone repeater facing this way. And we're going to set it to 4 ticks. And then we're going to tower up 3 sticky pistons like that. So that's the first step done. Now we're going to add an observer on here, which you're going to have to shift click and then you right click. And then boom, observer's there. You add your building block right here. And then you add your other building block, the one that you want to push, this one right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add an observer right there, an observer right there, and then a sticky piston right here. And you're actually going to want to break this block. Go over here and you see these two sticky pistons? So on this sticky piston, you're going to want to shift. And then you're going to look all the way to the edge. And then you want to place an observer. So it's facing this way. As you can see, it's looking at me right now from here. And then you're going to re-add your block right there. And then you're done. Press the button. It's going to go three blocks high. Press it again. And it's going to retract all the way down. Okay, I just want to say this now before you get confused. In my music settings, I have my blocks volume all the way down to 50%. That is because these machines are really, really loud, and I don't want your eardrums to um, get hurt while you're watching this video. So I'm just going to put it all the way to 100 just to show you how loud these machines actually are. So when I press this button, just listen. That was extremely loud. Let's listen to it again, but really close. Yes, that is really, really loud, and I don't want you guys to have to hear that over and over again in this video, so that's why I'm going to keep it at 50%. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to build this sideways-facing triple piston extender. So if you go over here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to add a block right here, two blocks right here, and then three blocks right here, so it's like a staircase. And then you're going to want to destroy these three blocks right under here, so now it's a diagonal. Then you're going to want to add a sticky piston right here, and an observer right here. 
and then three sticky pistons right here. So now you're going to want to go over here, add redstone dust on the uh, building block of your choice, and then you're going to want to add three observers facing this way. So one, two, you might have to bridge over like this, three, then break this block right here. And now you're going to want to add an observer right on this red piece of redstone, like that. And then you're going to want to add another observer right here. And then you want a repeater facing this way, right here. Set it to three ticks, so it's like this. And then you're going to want to have another redstone repeater right here. And then you're going to want to have your solid blocks right here, all the way to where it's level with these two observers. And then you're going to need a normal piston. You don't need a sticky piston for this one, just like that. And then you have your observer facing like this so the triangle is pointing upwards okay so now all you have to do is add your button and when we try this out it pushes it out three blocks and when we push it again it brings it all the way back in okay so now i'm going to show you how to build a downwards facing triple piston extender so now let's go over here and now you're going to want to tower up by three blocks so one two three and then you're going to want to go in this direction by two blocks, one, two, and then in the opposite direction, you're going to want to go three blocks, one, two, three. And now you're going to want to go back to the place where you were towering, which is right here. Stand on this block, and then you're going to want to add a block right there, and a block right there. And now you're going to want to tower up five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Head back down, break these blocks right here, and now you're going to want to go right here. Add two sticky pistons like that, go down, and then add a third. Okay, so now you're going to want to add a staircase and survival so then you can easily get back up and down. Okay, so now you can break this block and then you can add an observer facing into this sticky piston. And then a block right here. And then a temporary block right there. Head back down, add an observer facing up into the sky like that so then the eyes are looking up. And then you can add a redstone repeater right there. And then you're going to want to add a block right there with redstone on top of it so it looks like this. Okay, so now once you're done with that, you're going to want to add a redstone block right here. And then a repeater right here. And then you're going to want to shift click like this onto from the repeater like that. So there's a block right here. And then you're going to want to add a temporary block right here. Go down, uh, have the observer like that. Go back up, delete the temporary block, and then you're going to want to, from the place you're retiring, face in this direction, and add a redstone repeater facing in that direction, and you're going to want to have this redstone repeater at three ticks. And then you can add a redstone dust right here, and then you're going to want to add an observer down like that, and then another observer facing into this observer. So then the end result will look like this, now you can break these blocks right here, except for those blocks right here. And then this is the extended state of the block. And if we add a button right here and press the button, it should go all the way down and retract it. And if we press it again, it'll go all the way back down. Oh, and also these triple piston extenders were not invented by me. I saw them on YouTube. The upwards facing triple piston extender was made by Tinker77. Well, I don't know if he was the actual inventor of it, but that was the guy that I watched. And he's the one who uh, helped me create this one. And then these two right here, the sideways and the downwards, those ones I saw by a guy named Quilpa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how you spell it. Okay, so I made this video mainly to show how to make the three different types of triple piston extenders. So, I'm not going to show you how to make the secret uh, bunker in this video, but in my next video I will. Or, if you're from the future, then you can click the card and you can see how to build this bunker. So there we go! Now you've learned how to build all the three main types of triple piston extenders. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. See you later!